Hi! Welcome back to Nana Liz Makeup. Now, get situated. Yay! Okay. So, today, obviously, you saw the title. We are doing a Beautycon Woohoo! unboxing. Now, you can see I have not opened it. This is a first impression. I will try not to ramble on. So, I got my trusty. Oh, that's right. You don't even need scissors. I love this box. It's so easy. Okay. So. So. Woohoo! Tips for the perfect unboxing. Okay. Lighting is everything. Well, maybe I don't have that. Is that better? I'm trying. Trying. Anyway, it says show the goods and share. Okay, thank you for the tips. Boom. I love how it says, hey, BFF. <laughs> BFF. Oh, my goodness. It's um, not the normal little shell, but that's cute. Okay, so just for your bestie. Oh, okay, that's right. They have the little code. Um, I'll put it in the description below, but if not, it is bestie5, and you get $5 off of your own box. Boom. Bethany Moda. Last um one I had was Lolo. I hope I remember that right. Okay. Oh shit. Anyway, this is their uh winner box, and um I have not gotten it. I have not peeked at everybody else's video, and I'm going to rip it. Oh my gosh, this is a heavy one. Okay. Woohoo! All right, so. Woohoo! Ah! The fawn out. Okay, so that fell at me, so let's do that one. This is Revlon's Matte Ultra HD. I think I have this one, so if I do, I will put that in my next giveaway. I'm not quite sure, so I won't open it. Okay. Ooh, Essie. I love Essie. I'm wearing Essie. I love Essie. I always have my nails done. This is white. There you go. It is marshmallow. Ooh, that's so cool. It's actually cold because um, it's been sitting in my mailbox all morning. Okay, next is Murad's Hydrating Toner. It's step one. I love toners. I just got this new one Um, that is... Uh, Burt B's Rose Water Toner. I really, really love it. It smells so good. I'm not even a rose fan, but it smells amazing. Okay, next is Hand Food Hydrating Hand Cream. It's from Soap and Glory. I like these. I love, love it, love it. Oh, I have seen some of these pictures. Okay, so now I get where they're getting them from. I'm going to look retarded. Wow. Ain't that a look, girl? Okay, that's cool. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I've seen these too in people's reviews. And I am so picky when it comes to my mascara. I constantly am trying new ones all the time. I have not got to this one. Um, I was a little intimidated by the bristles. This is the Maybelline. The Falsies Push-Up Drama. Really cool. My dogs are going to be barking in like a minute. Seriously. My daughter's about to come home from school. Um, yeah. Ooh, Bethany Moda by Aero Aristotle. Oh, well, it already expired. That's nice. It expired at the end of 2015. Sorry, Bethany. You're a little late. It would have been a coupon for $10 off as long as you spent 50 or more. Okay, Garnier Fructis new Full in Plush Root Amp. Root Lifting Mousse Spray. Extreme Hold. That's cool. Here they come. Lily! Mom, free hat! Okay, I'm, doing, I'm filming. So, please be quiet as you get everything undone. Um, this is ColourPop. I have gotten a ColourPop Lippy last um, month, 
but I have never gotten their eyeshadow, and this one's broken. But I'm not really worried because I've seen those tricks. You put a couple drops of the rubbing alcohol, press it, and it'll be fine. So I'm not concerned, even though it does make me a little sad. But that is that. This is ColourPop. It says, Made in the City of Angels. That cool. I thought it was going to be like Made in China, but I realized that's the name of the shade. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God. Nike. What is that like? God, that's a baby shoe is not even. Oh, shit. Oh, it says push here. <laughs> Look at that. Push here, Janae, and I can't lift it. Oh. oh. It's a gift card. Gear up at Nike.com. $50 minimum purchase, and you get $20 off. It is not expired. Good. I don't think that they should have a rush on the expirations like that when it's like a winter box. Like, anyway, it's good until April 30th. That's cool. Look how it was presented. I'm going to keep the box. That is so cute. Yes, you can. Okay, next is a journal. It says Gold Digger, and it's in gold. Gold, not gold. I did say it right. That is super cute. I love journals, notebooks. Let me just reach right here to my side. This is the dollar haul, and this is just what I picked up yesterday. That don't count all the ones in my room. Oh, great. Now I made a mess. Okay. I'll fix that later. I like that. Bethany Moda BeautyCon BFF. That's cute. I like that. That'll be put to use. And the last thing in here, Disney Minnie Mouse Jewelry Inspired Tattoos. Where's the Minnie Mouse in these? Oh, I see. There's Minnie Mouse's shape of head in one, two, three of them. There are two sheets. There it says Tattoo Junkie. These are cute. These are like um those foil ones. Um, I like that they're not all mini, but um, it's got, I do see the second sheet that you don't see here on the back. It shows it. There are a lot of mini ones. Let's show you guys that. There's a lot of mini um, tattoos that are for shape. But the top one, there are definitely ones that I can play around with that aren't. Like, I like the love one. That is neat. I like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I'll be sharing that with my daughter and my niece. I like them because, you know, they're cute little, like, bracelets. I seen a girl do a video the other day, and she had it, like, right here, just like a strip, and cut it just right where it looked really cool. Like, it drew attention to her cleavage, which, y'all know, I definitely don't need that. But, yeah, yay, my box is empty. I felt like... I didn't get as much. I mean, I don't want to complain. I like to review these. Um, but, like, last month I got a beautiful, big statement piece, jewelry, a scarf. I got a lot of lip stuff. This time, I mean, I got one lip, and I already had it, so I'm a little bummed. I'm pretty sure I got this. Um, and I really wasn't even, I loved the color which I will talk about that, I guess. I love the color. What, this? I'm going to put it in my giveaway. But I have, I've given you so many, baby. You've got a big collection. My daughter loves lip gloss, lipsticks, any pink, any red. But um, let me just speak about it. The only thing I didn't like about it is the mat. It literally, I mean, it does dry, but it took, like, it should take, I mean, if you're getting the Kat Von D, it's like less than a minute and your lips are dry. Um, some other ones from like Sephora I've tried, um, you know, take a minute or about a minute, which is still good. But this one, I remember even after like five minutes, I wasn't, it wasn't matte. Like, I mean, it eventually got there, but it's one that you will have to probably, re I mean, I had to reapply it. I don't know about y'all, but I had to reapply it. Um, but yeah, I'm a little nervous about the 
little bristles. Um, the new red one that everyone has that has the bristles that is that red with the twist. And it says on the end, you can use it to get to those hard to reach spots on the bottom lashes. Um, we're complaining that it was just too big for their eye. And that when they tried to use the bottom of it, like, if you weren't careful, it would poke you and hurt. Um, so I'm not a fan of, like, the silicone ones. But, you know, I have so many and I have gotten so many sample deluxes that, you know... I'll eventually try it. I mean, the, I'm not happy with the ones I'm using. I have Urban Decay Provision, 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 and my complaint with that one is it takes so long to dry, and I can't use it for my bottom eyelashes because there is a fallout throughout the day. So, I have two eyel two eyelashes. Ugh. I have two mascaras I use. Like I can be diva. So for the bottom, I have been using Wet and Wild. Like, I'm surprised. It's a cheap one. It dries really quickly. There's no smudging. There's no fallout. And I use it for the bottom. I don't use it for the top because it is not lengthening. It is not um, uh, a thickening one at all. So I don't use it for that. But it's really good just to darken up the bottom lashes, which is all I need for my bottom anyway. I'd rather save. If I found a good mascara, so if you guys got some, you know, ideas of what you use, I want it to dry. I don't want it to smudge. I don't want to fall out. Um, I like lengthening more than I do volumizing because I definitely don't want the tarantula eyelash look. And you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so thank you, BeautyCon. I love it. I'm so happy. And anything I do not use, I will either give it a giveaway or my daughter. I have, you know, my friends, they're always trying to, um, get little goodies from me when I get these kind of stuff. So I love you guys and make sure that if you want to try it, you can always do it once, cancel, um, and use the code uh, BESTIE, all in capitals, and then five at the end, so you get $5 off. Um, with shipping and everything, it's usually, it's about a $35 box, so, you know, um, you know, you, you're basically getting the shipping for free and you're back to the original, um, excuse me, $29 for the box. And it's only every three months, so it's not a big deal. And um, where's the one card? Um, well, I mean, just, you know, like the Nike, $20 off $50 purchase. There's obviously, either if you're not a sports person, everybody loves the Nike beanies, the Nike big shirt, you know, gym shorts to work out in, Nike shoes. If not, there's somebody in your life that is a, you know, sporty person or a man that would appreciate it. So that $20 gift card right there, that's, you know, almost your whole purchase. Um, if I had gotten the Airs bottle <laughs> gift card for the $10, um, that would have been the 30 bucks. That's your whole box. And that doesn't include any of the actual goodies that you've got today. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really, really like the SC nail polish. And we all know that that is a $9 item, basically, depending on which department store you're at. Um, same thing with these guys are usually between um, seven and uh, eight dollars. And the Silk and Glory, I have seen these at the um, Ulta, and I believe they were between six and ten. Um, Garnier, I'm not sure on this specific one because it is new, but most of the time their hair products run um, between about eight and ten dollars too. So, um, yeah. I am very happy. I love you guys. And if you like my video, um, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, I'm sorry. And like, have a good day and go watch another video. I mean, you know, I can't make everybody happy. Um, I hope you like my review. If you do, check out my other beauty box um, review that I have. And subscribe. Push that little red button down below. I love you guys. Mwah, 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 mwah. Bye. I'm going to pick you up. Don't forget to check out my giveaway.